Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I have a very special unboxing for you. A little something small right box that came in here from DLT Trading. Let's take a look at that. Kind of have an idea what I think it is, but let's enjoy the opening together. And today I'm opening my box with my Leon Ma GSD version 2, made by Riot with space coral fat carbon fiber scales. Really nice. I think that's enough there. All right. Let's see if we have any receipts. Oh, no receipts. All right, so we're good. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, cool. We have a sticker. Nice. And let me just double check the receipt. Okay. As you can see, this might be something from Sharp by Design. Let's take a look at that. So anyways, here's our DLT trading sticker. I don't think I have a blue one yet, so I'll have to add that to my list. All right, so here we are, Sharp by Design. Nice little box here. Do we know what this is? Ooh, there's no marking on the box. Well, let's open it up and take a look. Ooh, Silica Joe, nice. And here, oh, look at this. Go ahead and move that out of the way. Look at that. That is the Mini Evo. That's a Sharp by Design knife. The, their latest one. Flipper tab. Beautiful deep pocket carry clip. I like that. Man, that twill. I don't even want to know, call it twill because that, that's like twill on a whole different level right there. That's like twill on steroids or something, man. And it's so level and smooth. Contouring, chamfering everywhere. Beautiful design. Typical of Brian Nadeau's design. Let's see that beautifully centered. Yeah, absolutely beautifully centered. Uh, we have, a, well, it's not even backspacer. It is a integrated um, scales. So scales are integrated with a pin for the lanyard folks. Not prioritized. I love this scale. Oh yeah, that's nice. Deep carry is going to be about right there so that's really nice you'll definitely be able to deep carry I like the jimping up here all right so let's go ahead and give it a flip you ready oh that's nice that's nice definitely frame lock you can see that locks up we're at probably a good 20 percent no blade rock really solid i like this integrated integral so it's a frame lock but it's an integral i mean not just integral Oh, a bolster, a bolster lock, because it's the, the frame lock. The frame lock is covered up by the uh, uh, carbon fiber scale, which is really quite beautiful. Even the cutout over here is fantastic. All right, so let's see how the drop works. Oh, that's nice. All right, let's see. Can we get into the? Yep, we can get into it for sure. I cannot believe how light this is. This is so incredibly light. Wow, that is just crazy, crazy light. See, can I get into that? Hmm. I got into the other side really easy. I'll have to see over here. See, I wonder how I got that. We'll have to give it a little try. See if we just need to break it in a little bit. But that detent is ridiculous. Very thin blade, definitely nice flat grind. Does it come out? Yeah, come to a very thin edge. That's really nice. Oh, very, very sharp. I do like that. That's a beautiful flat grind. All the way to the top with a nice swedge, uh, nice uh, fuller there. The action is just phenomenal. All right, Why? I did it the first time. Ooh. It's like a double click in there. What's going on? That's weird. I've never seen that before. Hmm. Why is there two clicks? That's weird. I hope I don't have a defective one. That seems really weird. Let's take a look at that. Can you hear that? Here, let's go to the microphone. When I close it, I want to try to open it. It's like a real big click there. I wonder if there's something going on here in this knife. Everything's lined up. Ooh, I just failed trying to even flip it. Got stuck completely. 
Oh, I think I might have a defective one. Well, we'll have to play with this a little bit. I'm a little, a little disappointed because of all the great reviews I heard. And this is just not... Why is it double clicking? That is just really weird. I wonder if I have a defective one. I'm going to have to reach out to them. I have to ask about that. That is odd. Sorry, I'm just really distracted by that. I was just thought I was going to have nothing but beautiful action and play. And then we have that. Yeah, listen to that. I've never heard it that click that hard before. Is that normal? I don't remember ever. Wow. Um, hmm. Well, that's interesting. I wonder why the heck it's doing that. I'm going to have to find out. That's very disappointing. Double clicks. Why is there double clicks? That's the loudest detent I've ever heard. And it's, it feels like I'm breaking something. It's not even detent. Hmm. Well, hopefully I don't have to return this. I really like the knife. I like everything about it, but grip is comfortable. Yeah. I might, uh, I don't know, you know, he's notorious for the sharp edges and I might have to sand that down if I keep this. That is pretty sharp there. I'm not a big fan of that. I mean, it doesn't dig in as terrible as what I've heard the other one does, but that is still pretty sharp though. Hmm. All right. I'm just not digging the, the double. I don't know what that is. It's like the, the click, click. I have to check some of the other reviews and unbox and see if they have the same thing or if this is like a, a defect. I know he has a different detent system. It's not like a ball. It's a metal ramp or something. But man, that is really, really tough to break. I'm not, I just, I'm not, I'm, can you hear that? Like the click, 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 click. I mean, this is a Riot made knife and here's another one. I get it's a detent ball. And I'm easily able to use a reverse flick and all, but that, that's, that's weird. Huh. I wonder why it's like that. All right, I'm getting very distracted by that and really can't enjoy much more of this knife until I figure this out. So my unboxing is, again, I enjoy the aesthetics, beautiful knife, gorgeous design, incredibly, ridiculously light. Love that, love the clip and everything. That's beautiful, hand satin or, or satin finish there. The carbon fiber is ridiculously beautiful. I love the flipper. The problem is that click there is so hard that one time I literally couldn't, I, I literally, my finger slipped right off because I couldn't break the detent or whatever you call that. But it's sure as loud clicky. I don't, I don't know if I, I'm digging that. This is really disappointing. I mean, really, really disappointing. Gosh, I hope that's not like, I hope that's not normal. Cause I don't remember that when I had the mini Tempest. I mean, li listen to that. That is a really loud detent if that's what it's supposed to do. I just got this feeling that this might not be correct. Maybe something's wrong. All right, well, so that's the knife. We'll look at the blade. Blade is beautiful. Nicely hand satin there, at least it seems like it. It's nicely chamfered on top. It's got beautiful jimping. Definitely can get a full, full four finger grip. Beautiful contours and everything. Most likely we'll have to, if I keep this, I'm gonna definitely buff that edge down using my uh, belt sander, like I did with the uh, Urban EDC LC. Uh, that, that, their clip on the inside was just ridiculously too sharp or too flat. And so I had to round that and fix it and made that the perfect knife. I would say if that was it, that would make it the perfect knife, but I'm not, I'm not digging this detent. This is, this is kind of goofy. I don't know. I'm hoping that's a, hoping that's an, a, um, a, an exception. If this is the norm, then this is definitely not a knife for me and I'll be returning it and probably won't really want to dig into this type of knife again. Um, really rather disappointed by that. Uh, I love the designs. I love his work. See, I just did it again. It failed. You see that? I pushed down and my finger just slid right off. I couldn't break the detent. It literally made my finger slide off. And since there's no jimping, I didn't have any traction and because it pushes back so hard, it slipped right off. That is really, really, really disappointing. 
I am not digging that at all. Okay. Before I use this much anymore, I'm going to have to reach out to them and find out if that, that is normal. I mean, you can hear that, right? I'm not pushing to the side or anything. I mean, imagine if I pushed in on this. Oh, can't even, can't even break that. Yeah. It's like completely locked in there. What the heck? I'm trying to see what's going on in there. I'm going to get my flashlight. Let's see if there's something messed up. It almost looks like, I don't know if you can see that. It almost looks like there's metal on top of that detent thing. It doesn't look right. I wonder if it's catching or something. Hmm. I don't know if you can see that. Can we get a, can you get a close enough look at that? That just seems, something's wrong there. Okay. I'm a little, a little disappointed here. I think I might have a, oh yeah, there you go. I almost couldn't break that again. Got really stuck there. Yeah, okay. Well, that's the, that's the review. And if you have a different version, maybe you had a better experience, please let me know. But I am not digging this. This is really, really disappointing. You know, I, it's a little thing like that, that real, there, my finger almost slid right off again because detent just wouldn't release. That's so loud and so crazy. I think I, I, it's got to be a defect. I mean, I want to love this knife, but I cannot love that. That, that to me is just not right. If that's intentional, then this knife is not for me. If that's a defect, then I hope I can get a replacement. Problem is these things are selling out. So chances of that, I think are going to be slim to none. So there we go. So I don't know. We'll find out what happens, but that's, that's disappointing to say the least. I wanted to love this knife, but now I'm not sure if I can. So we'll see. Well, that's my review of the, the Sharp by Design Mini Evo. Um, I'm, I'm disappointed to say the least. I'm not super excited. Let me just make sure I look at this here. Yeah, okay. Uh, everything else is beautiful about the knife. It looks pretty, but it doesn't function pretty. It doesn't feel pretty. So it's a, it's, I don't collect knives to look at. So <laughs> I collect knives to use. And if this is meant for a knife just to look at, well, it's not going to be in my collection. It's going to go back. If this is meant to be used, then hopefully they have one that works better than this. Oh, so I almost couldn't break that. And that was a particularly loud click. Yeah, this is this is not good. Not good, not good. I'm going to have to reach out to them and find out because not cool at all. All right. Well, that's the Mini Evo. Um, I'll show you pictures, but I'm really not really digging this knife enough to want to show you pictures of it. So there you go. You get a little quick shot of it because that's how I feel about it right now. So... Maybe we'll get to do a re-unboxing or something, but that's it. Um, if this is the best it's going to be, there's going to be no review on this because I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to return it. I'm not going to do a review on it. It's not a loan or anything, and I'm not going to be willing to pay for a knife that doesn't work, so I'm going to return it. That's really, really disappointing. Wow. All right, Mini Evo. Um, if you don't have the same issue, would you mind letting me know in the comments down below? I'd love to hear from you. I want to know if this is an exception to the rule or if this is this is normal. If this is normal, then I kind of need to know whether, you know, I'm going to continue with these types of knives. You know, I, I, I'm really struggling because I want to love this knife. I want to like it, but I don't. I don't at all. I can't. Yeah, you know, I because of that. I mean, just listen to that. You literally feel like you're breaking something to get in there. That's ridiculous. All right, so that's it. That's my review, or my review, my unboxing, my impression. Not a good impression at this point, so hopefully we can get a better impression. My dad used to say you can never make a second first impression, so my first impression is not good. Hopefully we can fix that impression and be better, so we'll see. Um, you know, I love the designer. I love his stuff. I just not digging this and i hope that's not intentional I, I hope this is an exception so we'll see but uh thanks for watching today and if you enjoyed this um you know please feel free to uh, like the video whether whether you you like the knife or like my review or my not my review my unboxing 
uh, please consider hitting the like or even dislike button. I, anything I appreciate. But And if you like my content and my videos, maybe consider subscribing. I sure would appreciate that. It really helps me and helps the channel out a lot. And then if you've already subscribed, maybe hit the notification button so you can be notified of future content that I'll be dropping. And if you've done all that, uh, maybe hit that notif... Uh, sorry. Uh, if you've done all that, then maybe check me out over on Instagram at Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. That's Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. I sure appreciate you watching today. You guys have a great day and a great week. Bye.